are just going to be covering that all day long and yeah. sort of be see safe how out that, there. Be safe. That's that's the Drive key, the and game. see how that may affect the game, which we know uh, those kind of conditions certainly will. You've all played in them or coached in them and experienced them, so we're going to break that all down. Uh, by the end of the day, there will be just four teams left in the hunt for Houston. Welcome to Divisional Sunday of Game Day First. We got some extra sleep. Yeah. We yeah. watched the games. I've got my, my guy Sean O'Hara, Coach Billick, and Malcolm Jenkins came back yeah, for a little more. Yeah, I came back, back for round two. Y'all didn't kick me out. Yeah. In, the, in the regular I season. Three. They didn't have a guy named Le'Veon Bell. Okay, but well, that's right. We did win. You're going to give us a little <laughs> insight <laughs> into how to uh, to face them. And then, of course, we can't forget our, the other member of our team, Michael Robinson. And who Rob. Did, who did such a fast down uh, today's games. But first, let's look back at last night's action. And that was <laughs> it. He overcame that. He was, it, But they have never lost a game. The Patriots have not when he has been on the field. Mm. They're 16 and 0. Ooh. We'll take them off. Right. So that's you know what? Good. good coaching move. There you go. Get them on the field. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of good coaching moves, note, Bill to, note to the Patriots. Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, uh, they will play in their 11th conference championship game together. No other head coach, starting quarterback duo since 1970. Every game, mm. and it's all about matchups. They'll put guys specifically on whoever you have at receiver who fits that matchup the best. So whether it's uh, McCourty deep or or the Steelers, we'll find out uh, that the winner of that game tonight, and from the top seed in the AFC to the top seed in the NFC. We want to go first on the field to AT&T Stadium and Arlington. Elliott will be making their postseason debuts today. I know midseason coach said they aren't rookies anymore but does that still stand no. now that we're in the postseason? No. no way. And then they got to the point where you, you just talking about them as being rookies was, was useless. But I've kind of been through that trend. Okay. I, I think that's the best part is once the game starts. Now just the game. The anticipation and for Zeke the good thing is they, ha they have each other. They're, they're doing it together so it's not just one rookie that hey I'm the starter now I've got a bunch of veterans but for them they can kind of feed off each other they don't have to do everything they don't they don't have to put Zeke doesn't have to put the team on his back Dak doesn't have to put on his back they can kind of share in that but I, I think the the, the bye week is this buildup and the anticipation is the hardest part. Once they get that first lick out and you get the snot bubbles going, you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, well, the snot bubbles, I like it. <laughs> you made a good point uh, earlier. We'll get to it later in the show about Ezekiel. Uh, he, for him, it's going to be, he's going to be doing everything he's done since Pop Warner. It's a yeah. little different for Dak and the pressure that he's going to be facing in there. A little more All people right. watching than Pop Warner. We, yeah, that's true. <laughs> the bigger, audience yeah. is a little bigger. Uh, we, we mentioned the weather in Kansas City and the fact that the game has already been moved to tonight because of the ice storm. We want to go live there right now Steelers they have won eight in a row and they're firing on all cylinders we talk about this weather and they're and and we've talked about it all playoffs you know dealing with the cold or whatever it may be and these are pretty severe conditions so the question is can you block it out uh and, and who does it favor yeah you were talking about team from Pittsburgh last play of the game they went deep they went right on Marcus Peters it Ben goes a lot more underneath than Alex Smith does. They might have to tweak that. Well, that's a great point. And Alex Smith has this, uh, the nickname of, of being a game manager, which which many assume is sort of a negative, but it yeah. doesn't turn the ball over a well, lot. Ben's got big hands. I'll always go with the big-handed quarterback. The big-handed quarterback. Well, okay, well, speaking right, of that, how about, wait, wait, is Mike Robb a big-handed quarterback? Would you the running game. Let's go back to that Buffalo game. That as bad as they may say it, 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 it can be, mm -hmm. that, that downfield. They led the NFL in turnover differential. Right. So for them to take care of the football, Yep. That's not may actually be a plus tonight. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Well, well, speaking of quarterbacks, amen. No matter what happens today in Dallas, Cowboys fans will remember 2016 as the end of an era. Tony Romo's team has given way to Dak Prescott's promise. One man that can relate is Drew Bledsoe, the former NFL quarterback, has been in both players' shoes and shares his unique perspective from the Cowboys quarterback of the past and their quarterback of the future on your time in the NFL, and it really is kind of short-lived. Every time I open a, a, a nice Cabernet, I reflect. <laughs> <laughs> that, that piece in itself just talked about, hey, look, when, when you going into retirement and the way that happened for Bledsoe, that might drive anyone to drink, Coach. <laughs> you know, it, for me, it was interesting, the transition, and I know not unlike yours. Yeah, be here with you guys, mm -hmm. and, and you're, 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 it's part of your life for your, for your entire life. But looking back from that, now Aaron Rodgers, I, to me, the, the one X factor that he represents is his ability to move within the pocket. Yes, he could get out of the pocket. Jones, it has been 21 years since he won his last Super Bowl ring. But after tying a franchise record with 13 wins, fans around North Texas, sorry, North Texas, I was getting so excited for them, are hoping this season ends in Houston. To get the pulse of America's team, our Michael Irvin sat down with the Cowboys owner to talk titles, tailbacks, and that never-ending quarterback question.